<laughs> so this is your third show, Laura. Welcome again to the gallery. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Yeah, and this really time with, uh, with Joshua Miles, you know, so who also is in Kukubri, just like yourself. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. Actually, Josh and I um, are on the same street, so I can look out of my studio door into his, and that's been great, because we're like back and forth all the time mm. and exchanging ideas and things. So he arrived first a couple of years yeah. ago, and you moved, was it October or November? It was September, actually, that we moved in, late September. To so, Kukubri, yeah, yes. Yeah. So we still have a mm. long way to go with sorting things out, but yes, mm-hmm. it's, it's really great I'm amazing really enjoying it. and now Fantastic. you have plenty of source material at your doorsteps I know, I know. well actually we're standing in front of one this one here yeah. this is this is Carrick this is just along the coast from where we are in Kukubri and it's been a revelation just being on the coast and having all that landscape to hand so I think mm. that's going to really change my work moving forward oh. so and you're also that. learning from each other I see yeah. you're now learning uh, monotype more yeah and, you know, I like, so did it's, my, it's, it's yeah, really my first like monotype exchanging. it's been absolutely fascinating and um, yeah I mean Kukubri is known for its artists anyway so mm. we're sort of surrounded it's almost like finding your tribe and so we're surrounded by creative people Mm. and that's been fantastic but it's great to be back in the gallery here and to have a talk this morning so I'm here to do a little talk about drawing and stuff so I'm really looking forward to that fabulous but the show goes on beyond that doesn't it that's right It, it goes till March 11th and if you are unable to come till 11th there is one more opportunity Laura's and Joshua's prints will be at the Borders Art Fair which is um, March 17th through 19th in Kelso and the Birch Tree Gallery will be at stand 37 and there'll be all these fabulous original prints and framed uh, in the Borders Art Fair. Fantastic and I'm looking forward to going along to that and I know that Joshua is too so we're going to pile into a car and come along and see you there. Yeah, fabulous. So lots of opportunity yeah. to see our work and to enjoy it in the show and at the art fair. Yes, thank you, Laura. Excellent. Well, well, first of all, thank you everybody for coming. Um, so this morning I thought I would talk a little bit about how I make my prints and specifically about the drawing aspect of them and how I source material and, and create them. So when I was a teenager and doing my drawing, there was a book that came out called The Edwardian Country Lady's oh, Diary. Yeah. I don't know if any of you remember yeah. that. <laughs> And so I was kind of thrown by that because my sketchbooks never look like that. Drawing is absolutely the focus of my prints. They are all grounded in drawing. So a lot of printmakers uh, who work with Lino, they have a way of cutting. They, have, they use a very graphic way of cutting. 
or they have patterns that they cut and things like that. For me, it's all about making marks on lino and cutting around those marks or cutting those marks away. So the mark is important to me in my opinion. And it's also owned by uh, a couple who um, have a house in Kukubri too, and I just had visions of them rocking up at the door and saying, where is our lighthouse? Um, so I have actually put the lighthouse there. Uh, normally, I eradicate everything that's man-made from the landscape, if I possibly can. Um, I like my landscapes empty. So this drawing, this is the size of the print that's going to happen. And this is what I'm going to use for transferring.